Hi, welcome to ToddFun.com. What we're working on now is the pinball machine. Uh, just want to show you that I'm working on getting the, uh, the deck, uh, essentially the play field, completely uh, renovated. I'm doing this because uh, the, the deck always needs a little bit of touch-up paint, not a lot, but I just don't have a good enough artistic ability. So I have an aunt, Vita, um, she's got a company called uh, Vita's Collectibles and she paints porcelain. She's been doing it for 30, 40 years. So a really fine, delicate painting. And she's coming to visit. She's here for the week for an art show. And I'm going to have her paint my deck, which meant I had to get everything off the play field and, uh, and, and get some paints and supplies so she could do it. So this is just to show the beginning part and we'll show her painting a little bit and then we'll show you the end products. So let's take a look at where we're at. We'll just go freehand. So the, the deck is completely stripped of absolutely everything and that way she's got a clear shot at anything that needs to be painted. Now uh, I'll pop up a picture of what it looked like when I got it and that's here's what it looks like when I got it and now I'll show you a picture of it clean. So here we are, picture clean. And what we have is we just have a little bit of, it's really not war bad but you can see there's some missing yellow there there's the word thousand missing there and that's what she's going to try and get she's going to re-black in all these circles with um, with that she's going to redo these uh, um, kickers and then I once I clear coat I do have a, uh, a the, the little stick down protectors that go there too up here I'll be peeling these off here in a minute um, because I got new ones of those once it's all done and clear coated uh, there's some lettering up here that's going to be done and then up through here there's some lettering that's going to get done. Uh, for all the equipment, I basically tagged and bagged everything. Everything got taken apart a little bit at a time. Everything got a number and a description, and I can clean everything before I put it back on. And these are the supplies that I ordered. This is a kit I got from uh, Blinks. It's a, a one-shot. It's the stuff that most of the professional touch-up people use. It's very expensive stuff, but she doesn't need much of it. Uh, this is a kit that comes with a bunch of primary colors, plus black, plus white, plus a reflow enhancer. You got to get that separate. That actually thins the paint so you get the right type of flow. She's going to color and mix everything in these little cups uh, that she thought would be best um, because that's what she uses. If she has to store some paint that she mixes up a particular color, she's got these little snap lids. Got all this at Michael's. Got this at. Got these cups at uh, Party City. Got that at Blinks. Got this at uh, Michael's. Very fine brushes. I mean, they're like they're like extremely tiny. Like this is a 18o, 18 slash o. This is an o. Uh, these are these are really fine felt tips. Um, they come in three sizes. Also at Michaels, a a 0.1, a 0.5, a 0.3, and that's for doing some of the blackening out of certain spots where it might be too fine for doing the black paint, the one shot. Some general paint brushes. This is her color wheel so she can make and match the exact colors. It helps her out. Uh, these are just cleaning supplies. I'll finish cleaning up. So a quick tutorial on how to clean a play field really well before restoring and painting. Painting and restoring. Well, you want to get some of this freeze spray if you have any of these uh, little skid, um, stick down skid protectors. Um, that's just something the ball can't, around bumpers and around kickers, you'll have these. And anyone who does this already knows, but still you give this, it's got glue, they're glued down, and you give it a little blast of cold air like that, and as soon as you do that glue will release, and you just you just get a little putty knife under there, just slowly keep putting uh, that cold spray down, and it'll just peel right up. Then, once you get that up, uh, the next step really is, is to clean it with this mean green. Um, and I'll, I'll have most of all this stuff on my Amazon store, so you can go there and see it under materials and supplies. Um, and this stuff is amazing. It really cleans the dirt and grit out of the field. Of course, at this point, the field is stripped, by the way, of course. So then that goes back there, and then that's clean. Clean with a micro cloth. Get a big bag of these micro, micro cloths, because it won't, it won't scratch or anything in your field. Then take this goof off, and carefully use, just dab a little bit on the micro cloth, and every place where you had these stick downs, Slowly keep, so just kind of soak it like you're taking off fingernail polish. The glue will come off. 
and then rub and soak and rub and soak and, and you rub and soak and pretty soon you get to where you just start to see some color come through that means you're through and you might be you might even be you know a little bit too far but you all see without even, before it even gets color on your microcloth um, this will get it dissolved off and be gone and you can stop so you just gotta be careful with that now you clean the whole field with Novus you really buff it really good um, once again lots of this that gets a lot of the dirt out uh, the deeper dirt and it kind of has a little bit of grit to it so it kind of smooths off the surfaces uh, by the way I went around with a little uh, uh, drill bit and I kind of just gave every little hole that had like a screw or, or something in that I gave it a little twist just to sort of counter cut the the burrs off the wood so that it wouldn't catch on this cloth and just make sure your hand can rub over the field so this cloth doesn't tear a lot before you start doing all this cleaning. Then you're back to the micro green, uh, the mean green again. Uh, you clean this to get this off. You want that all off, and then you'll do that again. Then you're on to the little micro cracks, the little tiny cracks that are all over in that. Essentially, the little harder coating that you know, it's not really a clear coat, but maybe it kind of is. But in the paint, there's cracks, and there'll be it'll be dirt all in there and believe it or not you're gonna get a lot more dirt out with this Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. You're gonna put a little bit of this VMP uh, VMNP Nephethal? Whatever, it's just lighter fluid basically um, but it's in a cleaner can. You put a little dab on this and you rub and rub and rub and rub. About two hours of dabbing and rubbing and a whole box of these, maybe even two boxes because uh, I really wore these down. I wore these down to just about nothing. And they just keep scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and, and it gets cleaner and cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. And uh, two hours later that's done. Well now this is, leaves kind of a film almost like a uh, I don't know kind of like a white cloudy film. Let that dry a little bit. Then come back and mean clean all that again. So now you're back to this. You know this is basically it's just this, this guy just keeps moving along the chain here. And you use this to clean all this residue off again. And and this leaves a little bit of residue itself, but not much. It, it pretty clean. Then I use this, I get this at Home Depot. I got this on my Amazon store too. World's best glass cleaner. It doesn't really leave, it's ammonia free. It doesn't leave almost any residue of any kind. And you just want to use some micro cloth and, uh, and just uh, really buff it out. And you won't see any more dirt come up. And then you're completely done. This whole process of going through this whole thing will get your field clean. And um, proof in it is, there's my field. I got almost all the cracks cleaned out and you can still see, you know, I scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub and I, I got it down to almost no, nothing here. But, you know, even two hours of work, it, you know, it really did scrub it really clean. And I did it all the way up, section by section, and now it's ready for it's ready for paint because all these bits that are scraped have to be painted before I clear coat this thing. Oh, and to clear, clean these uh, clear plastic uh, buttons, there's a light behind all of these little plastic buttons. Not buttons, they're just clear in, inserts. But they were a little dirty and nothing seemed to clean them. Uh, but this, this goof off on a microcloth and careful rubbing to stay clear of the paint as best you can it doesn't really attack the paint, but you don't want to get this goof off on the paint too much. Uh, but just rubbing with your finger really hard with a micro cloth and a little bit of dab of that, and it uh, it shined up these. Uh, it really did take a lot of that years of dirt off of those plastic buttons, and it didn't damage the the inking. Let's uh, let it dry real good for a day because you're going to have some of those chemicals kind of in and around those wood edges. So let it dry really good for a day, and then you can go out to painting. Plug on your web page. How's that? I don't know. Oh, great! I I want a job doing this the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, um, like right here too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is my aunt Vita. She's doing the artistic painting part of the playfield restoration. She has because, Vita's collectibles. Because I'm an artist. <laughs> a professional. Unfortunately, this is what happens. <laughs> It's a lot of little work, but I think you can do it. Well, yeah, if we can match those colors, we're going to be okay. Just putting down some base colors first, and then what? And come back and over, huh? Then we're going to try to match colors after that.
Okay. Well, I wouldn't even know where to start, so good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have basically that's a uh, thick white base so that any place there was wood showing there's uh there's gonna not gonna soak up the colored paint that she'll come back with and do all the final artwork with. Oh Jesus, this little button was worn off too. Yeah. So what show that what color what what the name of the marker the paint the sharpie, sharpie. what's paint. it called sharpie paint pen is sharpie. basically sharpie paint pen black okay. and that's what she's using to go are you running that right yeah, now? yeah that's what she's using to go and do with the black lines on everything and it's doing a great job okay. you got to keep Kind of sampling it, getting the right flow, and then coming back and going around where the paint was chipped off, and get this oil-based paint pen to to re-blacken those circles. Okay, we're into day two of doing art touch-ups. We're currently trying to match blue for the for the for the sort of space deep space look on the play field. And then over here we've got yellow done. Look at some of those. So you can kind of see where the yellows touch up. They'll still be black and some lettering to do. And we got the kickers. They got matched pretty darn good. I can't even see it. And she's up there now look working on that where the blue has to go, where it got tore off a little bit by the by the skid plate for the bumper and then a couple other spots. So there's the red and yellow but it's still got black to do on the Activate trans, Transporter Welcome Aboard. Getting closer to the sky blue kind of space blue or in this case <laughs> and then it'll be a little bit of green in a couple spots be a little good green just using a q-tip for color match she actually paints with a little tiny brush So hi Vita. Hi Vita. <laughs> hi Toddy. Yeah. Okay. Well, the third day of painting is over and Vita is done. It uh, is looking absolutely amazing. I'll slowly pan up all the work. This used to be all messed up and chewed up and all these black circles used to be um, well, they were all just the paint was dinged off around them from being a little bit of a bump there where the plastic inserts are. <clears throat> um, this field over here was was messed up down this one chute. Uh, the, getting the color to match perfectly was very, very hard because I didn't have the exact uh, uh, primary colors for her to mix with. Um, so it was a bit of a struggle to get spot on, but it's really hard to see. Um, if you look carefully, you can see where the colors are different, but it is tough to see when you're just kind of looking at the game as a whole. Um, likewise, this this blue right here was more of a greenish tint, um, and this was all chewed up around here, so I just had picked an, another color that was, uh, well, here and here. I just picked a color that I liked better um, to fill in the really bad parts. And that actually, I like the way that kind of makes a contrast, you know? Um, makes it look more unique. Um, I think one of the hardest things was filling in the letters. Like up here where the scrape went all the way around. She uh, she used to be a, uh, <coughs> a, a, a sign painter, so she was an, not, she's an artist now. She does porcelain painting. And uh, 
uh, you know, fine china painting, if you will, but she used to do graphic arts. So this lettering and stuff was second nature to her. Um, like I say, I didn't, if I would have got straight primary colors um, in those one-shot containers, she would have had a lot better chance of mixing the colors, but they, they are so darn close I couldn't even see hardly anything. And certainly when you stand back as in a plague position, there's nothing to be, it's just, it just looks pristine and super clean. These thousands here all had to be, most of them had to be written in again on top of all the yellow and some green. So, there. Well, this play field is just gorgeous again. I just, it's, it's, it really pops. It has that nice bright colors. Uh, it's, it's really clean. It's, uh, you know, after something like 35, 40 years, it's, it looks really good. Uh, I'm lucky to have gotten a field that wasn't as damaged as some fields out there. Some fields have a lot more wear and damage. Uh, so I had that going for me. The next thing is I've done a lot of research at this point. A lot of people just say, give it a good wax, put down the skid protectors and, and play. But I, I want to clear coat this and I've done my homework and I've picked a clear coat that shouldn't be damaged by any cleaners or chemicals. And I want to do that because I want to permanently seal this as art. What I mean by that is, yeah, a lot of people would just wax and play and call it good. But I want this thing sealed so tight that it will not get damaged again and that will make the machine last longer. It Not only will it last longer for me and my family, but the machine has a chance at a longer life if the play field looks pristine uh, going forward. And uh, the particular uh, clear coat, um, the triple glaze that I'm going to use, it does play well. I've heard people use it and and they and it plays well. Now, you could go a step farther and get an automotive clear coat. Um, that's really, really good. Uh, but I've decided to go with a spray-on clear coat that people have a lot of luck with. So that'll be uh, probably the next video is just showing the clear coat and the buffing process. Uh, that'd be a quick video and, and you'll see it'll, it'll make it shine a little better. After that, I'm going to get the stencil kit for the machine. I'm going to sand the machine all down because it's really messed up. I'm going to bondo fill and then paint and spray uh, with a stencil kit. Uh, and that will finish the cabinet up. And then I'll finish a little bit more electronics. Uh, I've got the LED board so that I can put this same machine to all LEDs. I've already mapped out the type and style of LEDs I want, super brights and colors. And that, so those will be multiple videos on restoring this machine. I want to finish it so I can get it in the house and start playing it regular. I had been playing it before this stage uh, because I was waiting for a year for my aunt to come who has the ability to do this fine artwork. So I had been playing it um, uh, in the garage here, but now that I've got the artwork done, it's, it's um, clear to just completely restore and get it in the house and enjoy it for years to come. So thanks for joining. Let me know if you're interested in this. It's not one of my more popular uh, segments series, but, uh, but I, I like to record this stuff too. It's fun. So thanks for joining.